the bread. Then my sauce, my stuff, and I say, so I'm gonna hit it in the morning, cause I'm whiskey dipping. Got my butt out. Well, Charlie's about to drive this turd home. First startup in a while, huh? Eh? Where did they move it? Do they move it sometimes? No, never. Like that video I sent to you on Snapchat, I was like the first frame. And it just like went like nothing. It <laughs> that thing is so fucking funny to see on the road. Crab walking so hard. <laughs> yeah, that thing is serious. Look at that drag, buddy. She's drifting straight. What is up, guys? I don't know if this is a new video or this might be just randomly in the middle of a video. But, anyways, we here. About to trim this tomato plant. Painting the grill of the work van. Because I'm supposed to be doing work to that. Fixing all the rust on this. It's just minimal surface rust. So I just need to sand and paint it. But I'm doing the grill right now. Because it was all messed up. Waiting on Charlie. He's going to help me bring my Toyota down. His is here. He's going to come and work on it I guess. He has a bunch of shit he needs to do. I want to sand, paint, need to do an axle housing, need to do the motor swap, which I'm actually getting the motor at the end of the month, so I don't know what day it is today. It's the 25th today, and I'm supposed to be getting it. He's supposed to start pulling it around, like, after the 27th, so start of the month here. I'm also getting a new toy, which I'm super excited about, just waiting on that to show up. And, yeah, that's about it. We're going to get to work on this Toyota because there's so much stuff to do to it. All right, so here's the old girl. She's been sitting a while. Just freaking a while, man. Oh my God, I don't even think the hood's on. Good thing I realized that. Put that in the trunk before we roll down the hill. The color for this, I think you guys are gonna be excited. I don't know if I've seen anybody do the color I'm gonna do on a Toyota, second gen Toyota, or first gen or anything really. I'm gonna pull into the road. And she is home thanks to these guys. Now time for a power wash. Chill out. One fender off. I wonder what color this used to be. Was it blue? Or did somebody paint it blue? Fenders are off. Clogged my line so I can hose this bitch down. Pressure washing this next. This was rubbing on there. Starting to, starting to wear through the wires, so I'm gonna 
seal this back up because <coughs> we can't be having that. Why are you taking those off now? Jesus. Well, that's loose now, too. Loose now, but yeah. It's washed now. Some paint started to come off in a couple of places. Oh, now to do a lot of sanding. I want to smooth everything out. Make it as, like, decent as possible. Just like this kind of shit. It's not gonna be the greatest, like, this truck is a piece of shit, so. So it's pouring rain, but I'm gonna do some sanding anyways. I'm gonna try to do this right there so I don't dust out the garage. First off, before I start, we need to get this handle off. Now we are going to get to sanding. And maybe actually primer this thing after. I don't know, maybe we'll just sand the hood too, but I think the hood's soaking wet out there. Well, I've been sanding this thing for like an hour now on 60 grit. It's not too bad, so I'm gonna go over it with some higher grits. Probably, I don't know, 100 and maybe 200, 220, I don't know. We'll see. So I have been sanding this for like over an hour now on 60 grit. In my opinion, it's not looking too bad. I was going to go down to bare metal, but I don't think there's really a point with this piece of turd. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go up higher, maybe with 100 and 150 or 200. Let's see. Then we're going to spray some primer on it. See how it looks. All right, now it's pretty smooth. So we're going to throw some primer at it and see how it looks. One coat, it's pretty smooth. The only one blemish I've really seen. Let's see if I can get it on there. Right there. So I might hit that too. Seems to be like a little bubble right there. Whatever, I'll get it on a wet sand or something later. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not a very good painter. Backyard learner. That is done. It's primered for now. We'll see, I'll probably sand that one spot. And then there was also another one down there, but I don't even really care that much. I'm going to find out how much my color that I've chosen is going to cover these blemishes. And if it isn't, then I will deal with these and get them done ASAP so I can just move on to the next part. I was just in DQ for like 10 minutes. This car has been broken down there. That car has been sitting behind it this whole time. And no, they're not helping them. Like, they literally are waiting to turn. What? What is going on? They're fucking waiting. She's waiting. Bro. New day. Got off work early because it was pouring rain. And then the sun came out of nowhere. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But we might as well put this time to good use and start sanding this hood probably should be sanding other things because it's nice out if it gets nice enough i might actually sand the roof of the truck too and then primer it because it's pretty bad look at all that that's gonna have to go down so so much like to bare metal almost pretty much probably pull this out when i do it sunroof I'm not going to annoy you guys with the sanding sound, so I'll show you when it's finished sanding, or in a little bit. So, I was like an hour again into that hood, and I decided I'm going to go pick up some paint stripper so I can get a bunch of this paint off so I can 
sand the bottom layers at least. We'll see. I don't know how much this stuff takes off. So we're going to go to town with it. So of course I forgot to show you guys it with all the paint bubbled. But that's what it looks like everywhere. And the rain has started again, so I am back under cover. Let's put this in the garage to dry so I can deal with that later too. So I'm gonna keep sanding, I'm on 120 right now. It's getting pretty smooth. I'm gonna do 220. Then I'm gonna primer this son of a gun. Hopefully I don't get any water on it while I'm primering it. And now it's just downpouring. Luckily, I don't think any water is getting on here, but I want to get this painted before it gets too cold. So I'm going to get this done, whipped out. So I got this gray high build primer filler and I'm hoping it's gonna fill like all of these little things. Don't worry about all that other little shit or wet sand will get that stuff off later. But yeah, I wanna fill all those little craters. Well, there she is. Just pretty smooth and there's not really any paint lines on it. I'm trying to see something Throw some more down right there in the middle. And then collar on the hood. Maybe start sanding this and paint that too. Back at it today, sanding the roof. Um, getting rid of all those bad, bad spots, kind of like that one on the door. You can see how bad these are. Like, like look at that. That's like a few millimeters of fucking paint chipped out there. So that's going to be a lot of sanding, but I'm going to go down to pretty much bare metal. I'm going to pop the roof out here of the glass. Oh, maybe I don't want it because I don't want all this dust inside. Maybe I'll get that edge later. Yeah, I'm going to get that edge later. Ah. Still have that chunk to do. That's taking me like two hours almost. Might do that, I don't know yet, it's pretty smooth. This is only 80 grit too. My hands have like the weirdest feeling in them right now. They're like vibrating every time I touch from like sanding for so long. Ugh. If you have a Toyota with a sunroof, I'm not sure what years these are on, but this is uh, 88, it says, at least, on the <laughs> registration. But if you're getting water in the cab, and it's most likely, not most likely, but it could be very well coming from here if you have a sunroof. All corners have these. Previously, mine were clogged up, and I unclogged them and stopped getting water in my cab on the passenger side, which is really awesome. But right now, I'm going to tape this truck off a little bit and just the windows a bit and then i'm just gonna throw a coat of primer on it and go eat some dinner it's all taped off as much as i really care so i'm gonna throw some primer at this so it doesn't rust because i might not actually sand the rest of that tonight we'll see how i'm feeling after dinner i ain't no professional painter but i'm gonna tell you guys how i paint here so Starting off, you always want to start in the harder spots, so like the corners and the crevices. So we're going to spray that up. Oh. And 
and then we work our way to the outside. But I'm probably gonna run beast right there, that right there. Primer's down, and honestly, I'm really happy with how smooth that turned out. So I might actually finish that last little bit after dinner. We'll see. Um, yeah, stoked.